Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And now today I'm gonna to talk about a topic that recently has been discussed a lot by uh, two pretty big channels, uh, fitness channels, uh, Athlonex uh, and uh, Fitness FAQs. Uh, and uh, the discussion is uh, about an exercise uh, called uh, um, bicep push-up, also known as pseudo push-up, and whether this exercise can be helpful to build biceps. Uh, now, this whole uh, probably discussion started with the fact that in many countries in the world, we are now forced to stay at home. Uh, many gyms uh, are closed. We can't go, people can't go to gym outside, can't go to, to the gym anymore, and so they are forced like to train at home. And uh, one of the um, most difficult things to work at home if you don't have any weights or any equipment or not even like a, a pull up bar is how can you train your biceps, right? And, uh, and now I've done a video a couple of months ago uh, when I explained uh, uh, the, the biceps, like the anatomy and then the best exercises to, to target all the three functions of the biceps that are supination, elbow flexion and shoulder flexion. Uh, so I'm going to put the, that video in the description below if you want to check that out. And now I just want to maybe clarify to you guys that uh, uh, may not know if uh, Athlonix is true or if Fitness FAQ is true. So which is the, uh, the, um, what is the, the answer to, to this exercise? Is this exercise the push-up the, the bicep push-up helpful to build the biceps? Now the answer is no. For the very simple reason that if you are only considering the exercise itself, so going up and down, all right, it's a pushing exercise. So uh, a pushing exercise will never uh, recruit a pulling muscle. Actually, it's gonna in, uh, inhibit it. So uh, when you're doing the bicep push-up, all right, that I prefer calling pseudo push-ups because it's just with uh, the grip, right? Instead of having a pronated forearm position, you have a supinated forearm position like this. And uh, if you just consider the movement, so, right, you start from here and then you just go down, up, down, up, down, up. So just the exercise, it's uh, never gonna activate your biceps because you are just going down, as you're going down, you're activating eccentrically shoulders, chest, triceps. As you're pushing up, you're activating concentrically shoulders, triceps, and chest. And then you're just going up and down, right? So while uh, the exercise itself, it's never gonna activate your biceps. Actually, it's gonna, as I said before, it's gonna inhibit the biceps because when a muscle is being activated, for example, if the tricep is activated, the body is going to actually inhibit more the biceps so that the tricep can do the movement uh, better and has less resistance. So if you are talking about only the exercise itself, it's never going to train your biceps. So if you're looking for a way to train biceps like this, this is not the way. Uh, now, if instead you don't consider the exercise itself, but the starting position of the exercise, that's when it's going to completely change and that's when you can actually train your biceps and you can train them very very well and very very efficiently because the uh, if you just consider the initial position that is this one all right um, and then instead of just having your hands at the level of your chest you are trying to lean forward all right this movement is called planche lean so from this position, all right, you're trying to bring your feet closer to your hands, keeping your elbows locked out, so not bending the elbows, right? And you're trying to push yourself and lean forward and forward and forward, keeping your elbows straight, all right? The furthest you can. Now, uh, try to do this simple exercise with me, uh, you that are uh, watching this video. So. Try place yourself in this position, all right? So supinated grip with the hands. Then you just start with this push-up position, all right? You're trying to here um, 
and like also push with your shoulders all right so you don't want to sink in with your shoulders you want to really push keep your elbows always straight and uh, and then from here try to bring your feet closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to your hands um, and try to lean forward and uh, let me know in the comments if you also feel this huge huge stress and tension on the biceps when you reach a certain position depending on your level you may start feeling it right away you may need to lean a little bit more forward or a little more or more and so on and uh, let me know guys how you feel this exercise remember keeping your elbows locked out and trying to really lean forward so like imagine you have your hands here trying to bring your hands lower and lower and lower and lower because you're leaning forward all right and uh, this movement all right so this isometric uh, hold if we can call it like that is going to instead immensely and hugely activate and recruit the biceps why for the very simple reason that especially the long head of the bicep is gonna just go up here all right it's just in a straight line and it's gonna attach inside the shoulder joint so the tendon is gonna be right here it's called there is actually a bone portion in the humerus that is called the the long head of the bicep valley all right where the tendon is going to just run through and it's going to then attach into the supraglenoid tuberculus all right of the scapula so because of this very straight position all right of the long head every time that you uh um you are like keeping your elbow extended and then you are leaning forward with your body is like you are doing a shoulder flexion right because here if you just think about it it's just gravity that is acting in a different way so here if you're just leaning with your body forward it's like you are doing a shoulder flexion right so it's like you're doing this because if you don't do this you're gonna fall down so um the remember that the muscle does not understand the position does not understand uh how you're doing the exercise it's just it's understanding the tension and how to uh, oppose the resistance that gravity a weight anything is creating and in this case the gravity is pulling your body down all right and because you're keeping your elbow extended all the all the all the what the bicep is holding is holding here at the shoulder because what happens if the bicep has too much tension all right and you keep on leaning forward and you have enough strength you're gonna eventually break so the elbow is gonna bend the shoulder is gonna go into extension and in that way the bicep will be free from uh, the tension and that's why the more you lean forward the more you're gonna realize that you want to bend your elbows because the moment that you bend them you're gonna remove that tension ah, and you're gonna be fine but remember guys that it's the tension that builds muscle and uh, what I really like about this exercise so the planche lean is that it builds strength especially in that portion of the of the uh, range of motion of the bicep that is the weakest because uh, in this like five to ten degrees right or elbow flexion right so if you imagine here this is completely complete extension for me so in this angle right so maybe 10 15 degrees right that is the portion where it's very likely that I can have an injury on my bicep and why is that because it's the position where the muscle is more stretched all right so if I apply a very high amount of force here the it's very likely that the muscle will tear so it's very likely that the tear is gonna happen right here and you see all those very big lifters uh, you know doing that lifts and trying to cheat their way by using their biceps but because they are in this very stretched position as they use the biceps the amount of stress is so much in the muscle the muscle tears so this position this first couple of degrees is the position where the muscle is the highest risk of injury and uh, and if you train in this way all right so with the planche lean because you are holding like almost a straight 
uh, elbow, all right, you are training the muscle, so the biceps, in this, in the weakest position. So you're gonna actually make uh, a lot of gains in terms of resistance, in terms of tendon strength, you're gonna reinforce all the ligaments in the elbow, in the shoulder, and you're gonna just build a lot of muscle strength in that very small range of motion where normally the muscle does not have much strength. And, um, and yeah, for that very simple reason, I think this exercise is one of the best exercises that you can do at home without equipment, because you can see you just need, you just need your body and a floor. <laughs> and, um, and it's gonna train you in that very small range of motion that is the weakest of the bicep normally and uh, uh, it's gonna activate your biceps immensely. Because remember, isometric contraction, concentric contraction, eccentric contraction are all different uh, ways to activate a muscle. But remember that the muscle all, only understands tension. So if you're able with an isometric contraction to generate enough force, you're gonna be able to make the muscle grow and enough tension. So uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about this topic. So Jeff is right when he says that the exercise itself is not gonna activate the biceps because it's true. But at the same time, he is wrong when he says that uh, even the, the holding, all right, is, uh, is not good. And, um, and yeah, in this case, Daniel from Fitness FAQs, I think he, he answered the topic a lot more uh, with insight and actually um, doing a lot of examples and showing why this exercise can be good uh, but remember if you're doing a dynamic motion so that's why I think that Daniel got wrong that even if you are leaning a lot forward right but then you're doing this all right you are losing the tension of the bicep because you are flexing the elbow so you're losing the tension of having the elbow locked out so even if you're leaning a lot forward but then you're doing push-ups, then you're losing the benefit on the biceps. So it's just uh, the, the best way to train biceps is just when you keep your elbows straight and then you lean forward. And, uh, and yeah, that's guys also why rings gymnasts uh, have so developed biceps because they're constantly in these holding positions like planches, Zanetti, or all the dynamic variations where they're gonna just you know go up go down and always keep their elbows locked out and holding their body with their pretty much their biceps and their shoulders so it's, it's that uh, the reason why these rings uh, gymnasts have so huge biceps because they're using them massively in holding the position and uh, in, in holding the, all, the whole body with the elbow locked out and yeah, so that is my, 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 my discussion about this topic. I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.